Hello, my beautiful subscribers, and welcome to Let Ebony Tarot. So today, I'm just going to be doing like a channeled message. Um, thank you all so much for your likes, your shares, your comments, and your subscribes. I really, really do appreciate it. For anyone who's waiting for the other videos, they're going to upload. I just had a lot of um issues with like noise and uploading this week. Um, I can finally upload now, but I just you know I'm not in the energies to do the um the individual elements so I will be doing them over the weekend or if not next week and if you've booked a personal reading you're probably going to get it from next week onwards but you'd know that because I emailed you okay um for those of you that would like to book a personal reading you can do below for those of you that are interested in anything that I um create including any of my decks tarot decks not ready yet my affirmation deck however will be released within i will be taking pre-orders sorry within the next few weeks i have posted an update so if you want to know an update watch the video if you want to know about the deck click on the link below and let me know in the comment section that you like it okay i will be using it in this reading um thank you all so much for all your support so today I'm just going to do something collective just quickly because I've been getting this channel's message all week and I thought like, finally I can record but yeah so I don't know we'll try and make it a quick one okay but um the channel's message that I got was um jealousy is a disease okay um now the last collective message I done because this is a consistent thing so I just feel like these bitches are going to keep hating that's what they do you know that's obviously what they signed up for before they fucking um touch this spiritual plane so if a lot of you are experiencing a lot of jealousy and a lot of hate right i just want you to know that i'm here to remind you how powerful you are okay it says i am powerful let's affirm this together i am powerful and this my friend is why so much people hate why so much people are jealous why so much people make it their mission to be spiteful bitter ass bitches you know whether it's their, their snide remarks whether it's their comments whatever the fuck it is however people are um sending you negative energy right this is why okay because you're powerful you're attractive man or woman doesn't matter okay you could be multi-talented multi-faceted it doesn't matter what you can do whatever you can do is a reminder to these people of what they can't do okay and so they don't want you to reach greatness they don't want you to progress they don't want you to have the eye on the prize they they're trying to distract you but remember you're up here because that's where the people of power reside up here why all the hating us bitches are down here and you know when they, they can't reach someone who's above them so what do they do they try to drag you down okay so i want you to remember your power i also am here to remind you that you are beautiful okay it says i am beautiful let's affirm this together i am powerful and i am beautiful for some of you people could just be hating simply because you're beautiful you know was you did like is it your problem that you're fucking you've got a lot of abilities is it your issue that you're attractive no you're just blessed okay and you can't be upset Okay, because somebody's hating on something that God, the universe, naturally gave to you. It was given to you for a reason, not these motherfuckers. Because you know why? If it was given to them, if they had all this power, they didn't. They wouldn't know what the fuck to do with it. And we already live in a world of fucking chaos, okay? So remember, you're powerful, okay? Remember, you're beautiful, okay? And this is why people are hating. This is why people are trying to throw you off your game and trying to make you doubt yourself. Because, like I said, in order for these people to affect you, you need to be in a low vibration because that's where they are. You're here, they are here. Then when they bring you down here and they make you do this, like, oh my God, doubting yourself, am I this, am I that? You're now down here. As you drop, these people rise because they feed off of your energy. So, fuck them. If you have to cut people off, that's what you have to do. If you have to stop speaking to someone because every time you talk to them, they're toxic energy. They've always got something. Now, have you ever had a friend where, where you're step telling them that you've done something or you've created something or you've got a new job and they don't have anything positive to say? That friend is a fucking hater and they've been hating from day. And you know, some people, right? I feel like a lot of people value um, quantity over quality. 
So they'll be hanging around with a lot of people like, yeah, I've got friends and that, you know, because they can pay, like post pictures and show that they've been here, there and everywhere. Behind closed doors, all those motherfuckers hate each other. They're all broke, probably borrowing each other's bottles and fucking shoes to try and look good in pictures just to prove to people that they're doing something. But when you're going through hard times, can you reach out to these people? No. And some of these people, when you decide to step into your power and you realize how beautiful you are inside and out, because, you know, as they say, beauty is in the eyes of the beholder, right? Um, these people, they're, st they're not in their power, innit? They don't want to follow their north node. They don't want to have self-elevation, um, self-discipline. And so they try to drag you back into the old way of thinking, is oh you've changed of course i've changed haven't you <laughs> you know we're, ad we're adults now we need to move up we need to progress we need to level up we can't still be doing the same shit that we were doing 5 10 15 years ago it doesn't work like that so sometimes you have to release these people who's going to keep you in this in the same cycle have you ever spoke to someone or met someone like or re-met someone should i say like rekindled with somebody or reconciled with like an old friend and they're still doing the same stuff that you were doing in school and you're like really you know you've not done one thing that you're proud of or not one achievement or not nothing and it could be something small but it's like their mindset if anything their mindset is still how it was in school they still think how they were back then nah don't allow people to keep you in that just so that you can say that you have friends you know, because a lot of the most powerful people actually reside on their own. Because, you know, when you've got so much power, you've got to be careful who you're exchanging energy with. Okay, because I always say, admire, admiration can turn into envy real quick. There is a thin line, okay? Remember that you are strong and fearless. Let's affirm it together. You are strong and fearless. Okay? Powerful beautiful you're divinely protected you need to sometimes get into this boss mode this emperor mode and you need to let people know you are not to be fucked with and you don't have to say it verbally you see me i don't do that now i might be a bit like woo in my videos but in real life people think i'm some dainty little fairy that's what people be saying to me the other day, a guy come up to me and said that I look like a black princess. I was like, oh my God, me? Really? Oh my God, thank you. I think it was the beads. I had beads at that time. I, I don't know why he said that, but when people approach me, it's like, hi, queen, hi, goddess. Oh my God, like, you, you look like you wouldn't hurt a fly. Like, people think I'm some, like, light, dainty kind of, like, like, if they were to see me while out in some of my videos, they'll be like, oh my goodness. You know, because there's a certain time and a place to project certain energy. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Now, if you're confident within yourself, you don't have to be, you just be you in it. You don't have to kind of be like to certain people because they will just feel the energy and they will know intentionally to respect you. They will know how to approach you. And if they don't have any respect, they won't say shit to you. So sometimes you need to remind people just through your energy reminding people who you are is you reminding yourself so that's you doing these affirmations looking at yourself in the mirror every day telling yourself this is what i am this is what i'm going to do to today having that sense of pride so when you walk out your energy is high vibes so if you're high vibes you're going to attract high vi high vibrational people to speak to you you see they keep trying to make me mumble up my words because they don't want me to get this message out cohesively but i'm still going okay because I feel the demons, I hear them. You know, I rule karma, so I'm here to tell people shit. Like, you don't want to be a bitch today because that's going to come right back onto you. And you've been a bitch for years, so I see your karma. You're not going anywhere great, darling. I'm here to let you know this, so, to help you. Do you know what I mean? And then people don't receive it well. Well, we're going to fuck those people and we're going to focus on those who are vibrating high, those who actually want to do something with themselves, with their lives, those who want to break um, toxic cycles, family generational curses. You understand me? Those who want to be wild and it says I am wild and free. Those who are not conform to society's standards of thinking, those people who are outside of the box. There is no box. Fuck the box. Apart from the little ebony box, you know. <laughs> Fuck the box. What box? There is no box. While everybody's in their little box, 
you're out there in the wild being free to be who you want to be, okay? Being sassy, being sexy, being passionate, following your desires, you know. Hmm. Anyway, so that's all I wanted to say for today is that you need to remind yourself, as was it Beyonce that said, you know you're that bitch when you cause all this conversation. You know, people will not be hating on you if you weren't doing something to hate on. So sometimes you need to think about it as like, you know what? Your hatred reminds me of my power. I repeat, your hatred reminds me of my power. Do I bother you that much that you have to react like this? Wow. <laughs> That's how you have to think because you got to think, yeah? You got bitches, hoes and gigolos, stressing about you while you're at home at ease. Or you're on a plane somewhere, or you're on the beach, or you're in a spa or in a sauna. Or you could just simply be in the park, residing in nature with your crystals in your hand, meditating at peace. You could be in a box. You, it doesn't matter where the fuck you are, to be fair. If your mind, if you, if you have power of mind power of self, love of self, it doesn't matter where your environment is, if you have peace of mind, nothing can affect you, not the haters, not the naysayers, not the jealous motherfuckers, because remember, some people, that's just how they are, that's just their nature, just remind yourself that you must have so much power in order to affect people the way that you do, okay, right, so, Thank you for listening, guys. Channeled message for today. Um, should I put out one more card? Why don't we? Let's see. Let's see what else the divine just wants us to know. Will you conclude this message, divine? Would you conclude? Okay. That was a lot of messages. I'm not going to read all of those. Can we have one card, please? Imagine the same card comes out. Okay. It says, I am kind and giving. This is I am talented and I am able to manifest my heart's desires. And that's what it is. You know, you're kind, giving, loving, nurturing. People respect you. People are always giving to you. People could be giving to you because of your talents, because of your beauty, because of your just beautiful nature or your energy. You understand me? And these people, they're upset about this. They're salty that you, you have the power to manifest. But do you know why you have the power to manifest? Because you keep your vibration high. Lower beings, lower energies are not the energies in which you can manifest in. This is why spirituality and elevation is so important. You know, there's certain things that you need to do. There's certain things that you need to go through in order to unlock abundance. But you need to be willing to do the work. You've done the work and these people are mad about it. Now, rather than them going and doing the work on themselves so that they can reach you where you are and you can all celebrate and congratulate each other, they just want to hate. Well, you know what? Let them hate while you create. Let them hate while you celebrate. Let them hate while you appreciate the abundance in which the universe is going to continuously provide for you okay thank you guys um like i said for info down below check out the update video it's a book down below everything is down below also if you are like trying to book with me or anything please do read through all the information very carefully okay um and thank you so much this is what the divine wanted me to say so i will be back with the rest of the who have i got fire, air, and water, because I've already done earth, um, so I will be, um, coming back with those videos, and we're going to see what beautiful energies we can get in the Bay Beauty OBS, how do they feel about you, how they're viewing you, what do they want to say to you that they're not already saying, if you have not watched the earth one, watch it, it was a gorgeous reading, gorgeous, and again, people put thumbs down on that reading, and I literally said at the end, if you put thumbs down, you're a hater, the haters wanted to reveal themselves, now they've just got bad karma, you know, and not because they're putting thumbs down on my videos. I don't care if you like my videos or not. You're still watching. <laughs> it's the fact that they're putting thumbs down on such beautiful energy. And it kind of made me realize, well, something I've been observing for quite a while is that people love misery. And it's sad. It's sad that someone can't be happy for 
people that are about to receive abundant and divine love like how how does that not make you feel warm inside to know that that like it does for me to know that i'm delivering a message for for people that are going to about to receive something beautiful that people wish and pray for how bitter do you have to be to hate on that do you know what i mean